Hello everyone and welcome to Dear Danny. I'm Danny Sonic Sørensen and when I'm not coaching Astralis, I'm coaching your life. Each week I'll be here to answer your toughest questions on CS strategy, personal problems and everything in between. So whatever issue you might have, don't hesitate. Dr. Danny is on call. Let this week's session begin. So the next question that I got is, Dear Danny, I'm part of a really tight group of friends and we hang out all the time. Sometimes we have a tough time handling our disagreements. What is your best tip for getting arguments out of the way? So that is a really tough question. If you spend a lot of time together, then obviously you will go from being five friends to five brothers and brothers tend to... uh, Sometimes hate each other, even though their love for each other is far bigger. I think it's difficult to advise on this one. I think also spending some time, uh, some time away from from your friends can be a can be a solution, especially because you don't want to come to a point where you might do some some permanent damage on your relationship with your friends. For example, in Astralis, it's really important for me that I give the players some time off to see friends and family and. And we travel 150 days together, so it can also be giving them some time off. During tournaments, doesn't have to be practice uh, eight hours a day, because sometimes maybe Glaive and, and Dupree want to go to the cinema, and the wives want to go to fitness, and then uh, it's up for me as the coach to, to sometimes allow that, even though that we, we tend to do a lot of stuff together. If you feel like you, uh, you, you there is a possibility of you doing some some permanent damage or there is some permanent damage with your relationship with your friends, then just take a couple of couple of days off without them. Do something else. You must have some some other friends or some family you haven't seen in a while because then you'll you'll start to miss your friends and they will miss you and then these small things will definitely go away. If you have a group of six guys for example and two of them disagrees and you can definitely see that they're not going to go anywhere with the, with their disagreement. Could you guys is interfere um, if we're talking Counter-Strike, if we're talking work, and you are supposed to go towards a, a certain goal, then you definitely need to interfere. But if you're just a group of friends going out, then I think you should be very carefully uh, about interfering because you can easily get, or the, the two involved can easily get an, an, an indication of you uh, taking side so as long as, as it doesn't get any physical uh, and it's just about uh, arguing about a certain topic then uh, s- stay out of it if you can see that they are, they are about to fight i think that's my my best advice to you next question that i got is as follow dear danny i'm often away traveling from friends and family and i guess this is something that you must do a lot as well do you have any tips for keeping in touch when you're away Yes, I definitely do have some tips. That's called social media. I tend to uh, have an agreement with my wife that I call her once a day, uh, mainly to uh, to talk with my kids, but uh, also a little bit of her because I missed all three of them really, uh, really much when I'm away. I would definitely say it's it's often you can when you are away, you are stress in a stressed environment. You want to experience stuff. You want to see new things. Maybe you are away on a student trip and you. Spend a lot of time with your with your classmates, but there is always some spare time in the evening, especially when you get back home. Um, and if the time zone is right, then I think you should definitely remember to call back home just to ensure that you're all right, because they will definitely be thinking uh, a lot about you because they are home in their normal environment rather than you being out exploring the world. So maybe even set an alarm uh, once a day just to remind you that, okay, I need to uh, to call my, my folks and, uh, and just have a small talk with them. Doesn't have to be long, and then on the positive side, when you get back home, then uh, they almost knows half the story, so you can uh, you can go back and see your friends instead. So, last question of the day is, dear Danny, how do you and your players handle tilt? I find myself raging at the computer, and always lose my head when I should be focusing. Would love some tips on how to manage my anger in these situations. That's a tough question because I'm not the the best student in the class with, with this one. I also have a bad temper sometimes. I think it's it's twofold. One thing is that you losing your temper or losing your head when, when uh, you should be focusing is, is obviously bad. You should always, when you're in the game, you should always be focused. You should always concentrate. Take one round at a time is something that we always use in Astralis. And the match is never over until the, the opponent has 16 rounds. So I think it's really important that you, when you're in the game, you keep your calm 
and you still focus because there's still a match to win. So hold that anger out, maybe just yell one time and then get it all out. Or maybe come up with some, some different stuff that you know that you can do in order to remind you that if you tilt, then there's a high chance of you losing the game. That could be like, I don't know, looking at the at a certain area on your screen. It could be someone is, is folding their hands. I, I talked to a, we talked to a professional badminton player in Denmark who advised us on these kind of things. And he, uh, he always had like a, a bracelet around his hand that he, uh, he touched whenever he was feeling frustrated. That could also be an idea. The second part is that whenever you're done with the match, I think it's really important that you also accept the fact that you get angry because that shows passion. Don't think it's too bad of a thing to, to show your frustration sometimes. That just shows you who you are. And if you are a winner and if you hate losing, then I think that's a good thing. So don't punch and don't break any monitors or, or tables, but uh, get your frustrations out and uh, go kick a ball outside afterwards uh, as hard as you can if you feel frustrated. That's it for today. See you guys next time. Please feel free to send me more questions on the hashtag Dear Danny. Then I'll make sure that it will be in the next episode. Take care, guys.